So let's check out the forehand technique of Karen Hachanov and specifically the size of his backswing and what you can copy to improve your forehand. Now, this video is sponsored by PlayYourCourt.com. If you want to play more tennis and find people in your local area to compete against or practice with or maybe even find a coach who's close to you, use my link in the description, PlayYourCourt.com slash Two Minute Tennis. Now, by the way, if you are not subscribed to Court Level Tennis and Liam Appalato, absolutely incredible, incredible content. So make sure that you subscribe to his channel. I put his link in the description. I want you to look at Karen's forehand here. And I want you to notice if we just draw a line down his body, this is the back side of his body, right? And this would be his chest side. I want you to notice where the racket stays. The racket stays on this side of his body throughout the entire stroke. At no time do we see the racket go way back here. When your racket goes back here, it can be really hard to time. It can be easy to be late when the ball is hit hard and deep and with spin. So film yourself from the back and make sure that your racket is staying more on the chest side of your body or what's also called the hitting side of your body. When you do this, you will be able to handle faster and better opponents quite easily. Now, to help me demonstrate this, I've got the Top Spin Pro here. You know what to do. Grab my affiliate link in the description below, and I'm going to pin it in the first comment as well. It would mean the world to me if you used my affiliate link to get a Top Spin Pro for at-home practice, so thank you so much. All right, I'm going to hit some balls here, and I'm going to demonstrate what I don't want you to do. I'm going to demonstrate taking the racket back here. It's going to be a big swing. I'm going to break the plane where here's the chest side of my body or the hitting side. This is not my chest side, this is my back side. And the racket's going way back here. I don't want you taking this large a swing. When your swing is that big, it's super easy to be late and rushed. You might have to even stand farther back behind the baseline to be, hand, be able to handle spin and depth and the speed sometimes of serves. You're, it's in your best interest if your swing stays more on the hitting side of your body or what's also known as the chest side. So it's good to add a split step when you're hitting on the Top Spin Pro. So split, and notice I'm making a circular swing, but the racket's not going back here. And you're not gonna lose power, by the way, because it gets to a point where the bigger your swing, you don't get more power. You, you don't get more power just by taking the racket back. You can get the same amount of power by actually keeping the racket more on the hitting side. And I will tell you that you might even be able to get more power because you will actually be able to time the shot more easily. And I think it'll be easier for you to actually step on the gas at the right time in order to time the contact. And you'll actually be able to swing faster rather than taking such a big swing that you have to come very early to contact because you're not sure when to, when to actually hit the ball. So you can actually get more power with a smaller swing. So you split, circular swing, and I'm gonna keep the racket on the chest side or on the hitting side of my body. Get yourself a Topspin Pro. Again, my link is in the description and I'll pin it in the first comment. Film yourself hitting on the Topspin Pro. Film yourself when you go out on the court. It is so important that you review the footage so you know what you're doing. And if you keep the racket on the hitting side of your body during the backswing, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.